everybody, my name is Valerie. I'm one of the board members of the Vulcan Mountain Foundation, and I'm so excited to be here today to share one of my favorite stories with you all. Now this story takes place in a woodland, a beautiful forest, not unlike this one, with tall trees reaching towards the sky, great big vines swinging down with leaves all different shapes and sizes, great shrubs full of delicious fruit and covering the forest floor flowers of every color you could imagine. Now in this beautiful woodland, there are all sorts of animals living here. Great big animals like elephants and bears, smaller animals like rabbits eating the fruits on the forest floor, birds of all sizes, insects, hummingbirds. They're all living in harmony in this beautiful forest they call home. Now one day, they woke up to one of the animals in the forest, telling them to follow them to safety. One of the rabbits was thumping the ground and asking all of its neighbors to follow it out of the forest. They woke up all of their neighbors and everybody made their way out of the woods together to a meadow close by. And from there they could see why the rabbit had brought them outside. There was a small fire started in one of the corners of their forest. All of the animals stood together watching this fire start on the side of the forest. And they felt scared and they felt helpless. They didn't want their home to be destroyed. And as they stood there watching this happen, they noticed something small glittering in the sunlight near them. And it was, it was going all the way to a pond nearby and flying over the flames and coming back to the pond and it was flying back and forth and back and forth. And as they squinted, they realized, oh, that's Hummingbird. So as he flew by, the bear said, Hummingbird. And the hummingbird stopped and looked at them. And the bear said, what are you doing? And the hummingbird said, well, I'm getting water from the pond to try to put out the fire to save our home. And the animals looked at each other and they said, well, your beak is too little. You can only carry one drop of water at a time. And your wings are too small. They can't carry you fast enough to carry enough water over there to put out those flames. You'll never be able to put out that fire. And the hummingbird stopped, not wanting to waste one more moment and said, I'm doing the best that I can. And with that, he zipped back over to the pond, picked up a drop of water, put it over the flames, and he kept flying back and forth, working so hard. Now, before long, the animals looked at each other and they knew what they needed to do. All together, they ran to the pond. The elephant filled up his great big trunk full of water. The bear filled as her big paws full of water as much as she could carry. Even the little snake filled his mouth. And they all ran over to the flames and together, they were able to put out that fire and save their home. Now that day, the animals learned a few things. One, you should always try the best that you can. And two, when everybody works together, doing what they can, you can achieve really great things. Now, I love this story. And I want you to take a moment, maybe talk to a friend, a loved one, a family member, See if you can tell what that story means to you. What is it about? And see if you can figure out a way to think a little more like a hummingbird in your daily life as well and doing the best that you can. Have a great day, everybody. We hope to see you soon.